now we start with the cervical facet medial bundle branch radio frequency ablation anatomy a slight rehearsal again you can see the medial branch lies at the waist this is an diagrammatic picture this is an x-ray picture so you can see the median branch lies at the waist so in a ap view our target is the waist of the facet while in lateral view you can see this is mbb this is articular process so exactly middle of the articular process is our target so middle of the articular process is a target in a lateral view now we usually enter the needle in prone position so to be start up with patient in prone position and we have to enter the needle while giving a diagnostic block the lateral or the supine position is okay but for the radio frequency ablation the prone position is mandatory as our needle enters from the behind and it has to be parallel to the mbb so patient in prone position local anesthesia has given you can see the waist this is rf cannula and now after giving a local anesthesia i will be entering here in a tunnel vision so another shoot we have entered inside after giving a local anesthesia but as we can see the tip of the needle it's slightly medial than expected so i have to manipulate a needle enter little laterally as the tip is bent manipulation is relatively easy so yes i am very happy with the needle position tunnel view needle entering going into the desired direction once we hit the bone go for the lateral view in lateral view my needle tip is nearly at the spinolaminar junction whereas it should be at the articular process so i can go maybe a centimeter inside one thing is very important it has to be it need to be a true lateral view this is not a true lateral view true lateral view means both articular process should coincide with each other so i have entered inside and the tip is at the middle and now we are ready for the next needle placement again the needle has to be placed into the in prone position the same ap view the waist is our target after giving a local anesthesia i have marked it so i'll enter it from here once the needle is entered inside and hitting the bone then we have to check again a lateral view in this lateral view this is the middle of the articular process my needle is nearly nicely placed maybe i can go a 2 or 3 mm inside but uh, we can have a stimulation and then we can think of going inside one more important point over here is we have to stimulate first sensory and motor stimulation and then we have to give a local anesthesia maybe a 0.5 ml of 1% lignocaine before the radio frequency ablation if we give an uh, local anesthesia uh, or lignocaine before the stimulation the stimulation will not come and then our purpose will be defeated so important thing is uh, placement of the needle stimulation giving local anesthesia and then going for the conventional rf before rf giving local anesthesia is important because the rf can be uh, painful thank you very much dear friends i hope you enjoyed the video